Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Saturday, November 10, 2012, and this is a Zero News Update. I received email today that I have finally been accepted to the Keshi web forum. Congratulations, Keshi. It only took you a week and a half to approve my application to begin posting on your forum. Were you afraid of what I might post? We'll find out. Um, I recently was forced to move all of the domains that I have and uh, put them on a different server. I ended up with HostGator, and uh, this pa most of this past week has been spent uh, rearranging and moving files and getting things working again. Looks like everything is working pretty well. If anyone has any problems with uh, altenergy.org or anywebmasters.com where I have the Howard Johnson patent, uh, please drop me an email and I'll look into it right away. I have made my selection for first place in the RWG Research pre Xmas Pulse Motor Build Off. And uh, I believe Mark Dancy has also made his selection for second place. We're still waiting for Russ, and I will be posting the video for release at 2 a.m. Sunday morning, November 11. This is when Russ wants to coordinate the release of the of the winners. Um, I am kicking in an unpopulated pulse width modulator printed circuit board that is uh, etched and screened. So uh, if any if the winner would like to receive a unpopulated PC board for my pulse width modulator, I would be happy to send it to him. Just drop me a line in the uh, in, my, in my email box. Next year, when we do the pulse motor build off, I'm going to up the ante a little bit and I'm going to donate for the pulse motor build off a completely assembled t and tested pulse width modulator version 2.1H. So, congratulations to the winner and uh, look forward to, to more of these contests coming up. Lastly, I want to give you an update on the progress of the lab. This first photograph that you see here is uh, what I was faced with in the attic storage area over the entryway of the of the shed and uh, it was quite disgusting. Here is the uh, aftermath when I cleaned out all of the insulation and lastly uh, I decided to strip out all of the old sheetrock because I when I, when I uh, cleaned out the insulation I discovered that it was so destroyed by the um, mouse droppings and the urine that um, it was unsalvageable and that was part of the reason that uh, the odor continued to linger in the future workshop. So I stripped all of that out. You see here now I've got all of the insulation in place all the way up to the entryway and now all that remains is to do the insulation at the far end of the shed and then start the uh, the transition process and the sheet rocking and, and all that. I want to thank everybody who has helped to support the project. I couldn't have done it without your help. I really appreciate it, and I hope you're enjoying watching the building of this series. After, immediately following, I'll be doing the uh, the rocket stove, and I have plenty of lumber piled up in the corner that, uh, if it doesn't get used in the build for the shed, will get used as heat during the winter. That's all for now. Zero fossil fuel. Everyone take care. And as always, peace.